This is the Discover Music Show, bringing you the best new sounds and interviews with the hottest new rising stars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Kevin Cousino here at Cousy's Recording Studio here in Oxford, and that was the wonderful Will Guest, and we'll be talking to him very shortly. Now, Will was originally from Northamptonshire and has been writing and performing at local venues and festivals for many years alongside his best friend, the late Richard Brayshaw. Following the loss of Richard back in 2006, Will relocated in Spain to perform at the Ainshi Bean Irish Bar as a solo singer, songwriter, and ended up staying in Spain, writing and playing across the Costa Blanca. Will has had many, many experiences with music and ended up playing at one point for the troops in Bosnia. He's also played with great acts like Wilco Johnson and Norman Watroy, as well as Hot Chocolate. But now his new single, Coming Home, is dedicated to the absence of his long-lost friend, Richard Brayshaw. And it's a great, upbeat song. Will Guest delivering melodic punch and a catchy guitar-driven rock pop sound. The new EP was produced by Ian Clayton at Mondesa Studios and will be released worldwide on Matchbox Recording on the 28th of September 2015. Here he is now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Will Guest. Welcome to Coozy Studio here in Oxford. How are you today? Hello, oh, yes, I'm fine. Thanks very much. How's the weather down there in uh, in Spain? You know, it's a, it's a sunny day here in Oxford. It makes a change, but I don't know what it's like down where you are. Well, yes, today it's um, today it's uh, sunny, very humid today though, but it has been all summer really. So um, you know, you stick and bear it. Fantastic. And you've been down there since, of course, 2006, where I think you started performing in an Irish bar. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? What were you performing? Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, what happened was I got this. I came on holiday to Spain and um, I went and took my sort of acoustic guitar down and uh, jammed in one of the Irish bars in Javier. And um and they liked it so much, um, they were on the phone to me back in Northampton to uh, to ask me to come back for a job. So, you know, I thought, OK, um, why not? So uh, I came and worked in the Irish bar playing and um, it was an experience. <laughs> and were you writing your own tunes then or were they covers? I was doing a lot of covers. I mean, obviously, you're sort of playing to, to the tourists and um, holiday makers, so... Um, you know, they wanted to hear covers more than anything else. But I did sort of throw in the odd, the odd one of mine. So um, just hidden underneath it all, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, of course, you you moved on to bigger venues. And I, I mentioned uh, Bosnia, actually. What was the Bosnian experience like working with those troops? Yes, we went, um, yeah, we got asked to do um, uh, a couple of concerts or so in, in Bosnia just after the war. Um, and uh, it was a it was a fantastic experience. Um, me and my my friend at the time, Richard, uh, just a duo and just playing acoustic um, stuff, and uh, it was absolutely fabulous. Yeah, it was it was a brilliant experience. I, I can imagine there'd be be a tough crowd. Uh, how were you uh, received? Well, we, we seem to be received very well. I mean, I think they, 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 <laughs> they seem to have quite a lot of downtime and a, and a, few, and a few beers. So they, they were quite all right, really. <laughs> Excellent. I can imagine the English troops aboard seem, uh, seem well, quite energetic. I can imagine the Bosniums are, are quite similar. Yeah, well, it was, it was actually for the IPTF, which is, was the International Police Task Force. And it was all nationalities, you know, Spanish, um, uh, Portuguese, everybody really, uh, Americans. Um, so it was very interesting and all the sort of, um, you know, the different nationalities um, were at some of the concerts. It was, it was, it was great. And of course, William, you've worked in many festivals um, around Europe and particularly in England. Northampton in the Park came to mind. Uh, was that with a full band or, um, or was that just an acoustic only set? Uh, no, that was an acoustic set, um, and I played uh, a couple of my songs there. It was um, 
it was uh, a, a brilliant experience. I was very nervous because there was a lot of people out there on, on you know, in the park. So um, getting up there and actually actually playing was uh, was was a bit nerve wracking to say the least. But uh, yeah, and also doing doing my some of my songs, um, which was also a bit nerve wracking. So, um, but it was a great experience, I must admit. So, um, what year was that in? Uh, oh crikey. Um, I think it was in 2004. Okay. Yeah. So, and now, of course, uh, do you think uh, of the 11 years, do you still get nervous or uh, or is it now a little bit more relaxed? I, no, still have the nerves. Every time. Yep. Every time playing live. And, and during the Irish bar days when I was playing five nights a week, um, which was too much. Uh, much too much. I never actually got over the the, the 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 nervousness. Yeah. Not even during the day because you were sort of you were, you know you you were playing late so you weren't getting up early, um, and then you were thinking about the, the the night time and playing, and you could never get over the nerves, and it just got worse and worse and worse until I eventually I had to uh, had to stop it oh um, because it was it was it was sort of tearing me apart, really. You know, it was, it was too much wine, women and song, I think. <laughs> well, maybe not the women, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And then, of course, um, the Will Be Blues Festival and even working, I, I see here, with Thin Lizzy. Um, uh, was it the full band or some of the members? It was, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was some of the members. In fact, it was just the drummer. Um, I've got a good story about him. Go ahead. We, we were sort of supporting them, um, Thin Lizzy and Wilco Johnson, um, and uh, they were trying to get Thin Lizzy onto the stage, if I remember, and we had to go back on and keep playing until they found uh, the drummer. Uh, ah. Yeah, and they actually found him. I mean, he was completely out of it, uh, lying in a ditch um, underneath a hedge in the field. Um, so, uh, as you can understand, their, their, their set wasn't the best. <laughs> well, I hope he made it out of the, uh, <laughs> the ditch okay. Yeah, well, he seemed to be all right when he, when he got on the kit, but they had to help him onto it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Now, um, now your song, uh, Coming Home, it's, um, it's dedicated to your friend, uh, Richard Brayshaw, who passed away in 2006. Um, uh, did you write this song very early after he died or, or did it take a while to, to come together? Well, really, I mean, it was actually in the process of writing when he, when he was still here. Hmm. Um, I had a version of it, which we, we, we played, um, different, really different words and different rhythm and so on. And then, of course, you know, half, after he, um, he passed away, I decided to revamp it and, um, because it's very personal to me, for him, if you like. So, you know, basically the words are, you know, you could ease my mind. Uh, if you come home sort of thing, that, that's exactly how I felt about it. So, and I sort of made it a little bit more upbeat because I, I thought that he would have liked that. So, um, so that's, that's how I did that really. <laughs> It's a wonderful song, actually, and it's got some it's got some great soul to it, and uh, it is a great tribute. Um, did you find uh, that that helped you with the loss, the writing of that tune? Um, yeah, I mean, I think about Richard at most days. You know, um, he was a terrific friend of mine, and um, you know, and a sad loss to me um, and everybody else, of course. Um, so you know, it was it's great to to be able to do do a song and sort of um, and dedicate it to him, if you like. Yeah, and it made made you feel better. Yeah, it did. Yes, it does. I mean, it it, it does. I mean, every time I play it, really, I, I I think about him and 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 you know um, how we used to do all these things in Bosnia and just go out and I mean, basically, it was just good fun. We hardly ever rehearsed. Yeah. <laughs> just turned up and played. It was great fun. So I do think about him a lot when I play that song. And the other songs on the EP, the EP Only Life, of course, are are almost, um, to me, I felt it was a, a musical autobiography of your life. Was that the intention uh, of the EP or, or did it sort of turn out that way? I think it was at the back of my mind because every song has something personal to it. Um, you know, uh, so yes, it was, but it wasn't intentional, I don't suppose, but it was, it was, it was definitely at the back of my mind to write songs that were 
sort of things that have happened through the life or my life. So, yes, it, I guess it was in, in, in that respect. Well, thank you very much, Will. That's great. It's so interesting to hear uh, about how the project has sort of come together. And we're going to be playing the tune now. So um, could you do me a favour and introduce the tune for us? Yes, this is, uh, this is my song um, that I wrote um, uh, for Richard, uh, my best friend who passed away. And it's called Coming Home. I hope you enjoy it. And I know they will. Well, you've been listening to Will Guest and I'm Kevin Kuzno here at Kuzi's Recording Studio here in Oxford. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to take it home with Will Guest's latest tune, Coming Home. This is the Discover Music Show, bringing you the best new sounds and interviews with the hottest new rising stars. Oh, man. 